Hello everyone. Today we are back again with our two therapists. Yeah, yeah here we are, All Smart Therapy Center. My name is Tisa Kainika, our uh, counseling psychologist, master's level. My name is Krishna Rawal. I'm a uh, clinical psychologist at the master's level. My name is Sylvia Wigoni. I'm also a clinical psychologist at the master's level. Yeah, today another day and sure. here we are because since we did our last video we got you know overwhelming feedback and people are telling us you told us what therapy is, who to who goes for therapy, what to expect, but you never mentioned what are the things that people deal with when they go for therapy. For sure. Yeah, and we are here so that we can make clear, you know, and we can come up with a clarity on what exactly we deal with. So all I can say is um, we deal with different mental health difficulties that we face and we are struggling with in our day-to-day -day lives. We do not have like specific, you know, these are the only things that you can go for therapy. It's just what we face in our daily encounters and lots of yes, yes. Yeah, sure. So we can just go direct to some of the things that we deal with. So one of the things that one of the things that we deal with is stress, PTSD, and mental disorders. And you might want to ask, stress, it could come from family, it could come from your work, it could come from school, because for sure we've seen children, especially in the academic year, having challenges with processing what they're going through, especially in school. And that tends to be uh, to, to come out in behavior and substance use, so the reason for stress and our mental disorders and what else do you think we deal with we also deal with suicide awareness and prevention um it's also important to remember that um before somebody actually even goes to committing suicide or attempting suicide or things like that there are a lot of things that could have been done to sort of prevent it or to curb it you know a lot of the times you just need somebody to remind you it's not so bad you know and we kind of sort of deal with that in therapy as well Sure. Oh, well, yeah, we deal with loss and grief. And when you're talking of loss and grief, there is a client of Oldsmart Therapy Center. We, we did some videos and they decided to go out there and post. So I may call upon you watching this. You can go to Pick and Rich YouTube channel. There is much that we did uh, when we are dealing with them as client of loss and grief. And we also did with you know we did some sacred education on loss and grief and what that entails is for any loss that you've encountered not um, necessarily the loss of you know yeah. death it can be job loss financial yes. loss yes. just a loss we normally talk about when you lose something that you're so attached to so it's loss of bond or loss of attachment yes. we deal with that we are here to walk the journey with you to ensure that you are able to overcome you know to go through the healing process and to live with the loss sure yeah. and we also deal with child trauma and past events and somebody may ask i'm an old adult why do i need to look into my child because it does speak into who you are as a person and it also shapes your personality and we also have teenagers who have childhood traumas that are hindering their growth so it's our process and we help you see join the dots connect the dots and as well as you know look deeper to the inner child heal the inner child in you to be able to make you function better another well, thing that we also look at is um addictions drugs and substance abuse sure. this is a really big oncoming problem in the world in today's day and age mm -hmm. especially with the legalization of certain substances oh, yeah, you know, sure. in other countries um there's a lot of mismanagement of mm -hmm. some of these substances as well and just because they're legal does not mean they're healthy i mean alcohol is legal and we still you know offer alcohol substance use counseling as well you know um so that's one of the things that we also cover yeah, and we equally deal with rape cases, early pregnancy, and underage parenting. In most cases, I mean, uh, we have people who are victims of rape, and in most of the time, they're just uh, silenced because they absolutely do not want to talk about yeah. it, the stigma that comes with it, yeah. and maybe the perpetrator is 
their family members or someone known to them and hence they feel they do not want to break the trust between maybe the two yes. families, families of the you know mm -hmm. the people involved and so people just they die with them because it's something they have they can talk they open up to people who are supposed to protect them but instead what happens they are just being shut and not able to talk so we deal with such early pregnancy we've heard of scenarios of where things are happening and when you talk about early pregnancy i mean these are things that happen especially to my nun and most of the time as a result of rape or just by being engaged in sexual activities when they are still so young and not able to know how to go about it and that again results to underage parenting so we are here to walk the journey with you and because no person is a less human being we do not have a half or a bad person we are all whole people it's only that the issues we go through at times they make us feel lesser people but we are here to walk that journey with you yeah, or even at times of wellness and that's where we we come in dealing with your moods your anger your inner self and discovery we help you discover yourself and understand yourself better am i an angry person people don't want to deal with me people ostracize me from the community we help you understand yourself better and in that way it helps you to accept yourself because one of the things that leads to suicide is the judgment that comes from the society and you feeling as a lesser person and feeling you're better off not in this world so that is something we also help you process as you come to Oxmart therapy yeah sure and equally we deal with childhood mm -hmm. elderhood you know all through adulthood and all that in most cases people are unable to differentiate that now have moved from this level of life and all that sure. yeah it's all about navigating and that's why and especially when we talk about the midlife crisis yes. it's because you're already progressing you know mm -hmm. you're still in adulthood yes. into elderhood yes. but you're still in denial that you are moving forward and all that again look at the case like adolescence you know it's still something it's all about the entire life cycle of a human being so we are there and we are here to ensure that we walk the journey with you we create that awareness so that we can get to know what exactly is happening why all these you know some of your physical changes emotional and all yes. that yes. that yeah hormonal that comes with an entire pack of events you know where you wake up and you're like can't understand myself anymore mm -hmm. you know adolescents breaking their voice and all that they're very different people some not aware of how to go about it so we are here and also if we are like a parent who is also maybe taking care of a, or a caregiver yes. to let you know you know what you're now parenting a kid you are no longer parenting a kid you're now parenting a teen you are now into you know all that so it's the entire cycle of life we are here for that and also when it comes to elderly people who don't want to grow old yes. oh yes. sure yes. yeah yes. they take yes. their family through a cycle of drama so helping you understand <laughs> the elder who wants to behave like a teenager yes. is something that we also help the family because we it used to be so much of a western thing but now yeah. it's slowly creeping into our society yes, because definitely. we've also diversified yes so helping the family understand my 70 year old dad who wants to behave like a teenager exactly. so that they are sympathetic uh, empathetic and they're able to understand this it's gentleman yeah. in a better way yeah, yeah sure <laughs> yeah. cross off their relationships as well oh yeah sure. that's something we do definitely also um the other thing that we looked at we look at in our um therapy center is also um sex and sexual addictions mm. it's important to remember that addictions are not just you know when people say addiction the first thing that you think about is substance use and abuse oh, yeah. it's, it's basically bangi alcohol you know all those those illicit substances that we talk about but there are also behavioral addictions you know and that's something that people sort of like don't understand as well there's gambling, there's sex, you know, all these are known as Netflix binging, that's also known as a behavioral addiction. Um, excessive gaming, you know, and excessive exercise, those are known as addictions as well. Sure. So we also sort of, as a therapy center and with our professional therapists, we sort of help individuals 
deconstruct, evaluate, you know, and sort of overcome those kind of things. Yeah. And also helping, especially when, when we talk about sex, because this is something that the younger yes. generation is dealing with. And a little bit, not just the younger generation, I think it cuts across mm. because of internet, some of the things that we, as a society, learned and borrowed yes. that are speaking into our lives. So it's one of the things we do at All Smarts Therapy is that we tend to understand where you're coming from so that it doesn't look like it's a shameful thing. Yes. Yes, there's that a lot of stigma. There is a lot of stigma associated no. with sex, especially yeah. in cultural settings in non-Western countries. There is a lot of um, taboo associated yes, with sex. It's a taboo much. topic, and you know exactly. because of it, um, because there is not comprehensive sexual education and things like that, people do grow up and make mistakes. You know, very and, true. Yeah, and we're there to sort of like help you through those mistakes to maybe get better. You know, to sort of make better informed decisions about you know sexual relations, partners, safety, things like that as well. Sure. And then the other thing we do is that we teach parent therapy. And some of you may wonder, as a parent, do we really need therapy? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's really important that you learn that your parenting style is speaking to your children, mm -hmm. and within no time, your children will begin to manifest. Their same behavior. Style. Yeah. And it's really an interesting thing that we like to do when it comes to parenting therapy because understanding the middle child, the fast child, the dark child, you know. Birth order. Exactly. Yes. And the, the black sheep in the family, the hero oh, wow. in the family, the villain in the family. It's very important. And why parent therapy, some parenting therapy, somebody may ask to understand the generation Z. Oh, yes. You need to understand the challenges that they're facing, yes. what speaks into their lives, why their friends, in a way, dictate their lives, and that also helps you to be balanced and regulated. Because when you're balanced, you're able to parent your child well, and they don't have to feel guilty. Mm -hmm. And they don't. And the key thing is that they don't have to hide things from you, because that's what happens a lot. Because they feel the shame, you don't understand them. So you're not their first to go place because they don't want to be judged. Mm -hmm. So through parenting of the therapy, we help you understand your lovely individual and helps better the relationship to for both of you yeah. and a healthy family comes up as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, it's still through parenting therapy that. Uh, we get to regulate and to balance yes. how much is this parenting because also in most cases as parents we want to give our kids what we never got mm -hmm. in the process we end up overcompensating over yes. yeah, yes. yeah and now kids are again complaining yes. that uh yeah it's okay but i feel you are policing me at all yes. you know? because yes. we felt maybe we lost the sense of security and yes. now we just want to be there each and every minute yes. where are you who are you with? What are you doing? Or oh, if they are early couple oh, parenting. Oh yeah, exactly. Yes, it's the early couple parenting. Yeah, or also maybe giving them too much. Too much, which yeah. makes them dependent. Yes. So you got a forty-five year old who still expects mommy to pay bills and bills and everything because mommy always took care of him or her when she was twenty-five. So sure. he or she is happy. Somebody's always sorting out my my problems. Yeah. Yeah. So the other thing that we also look at is um, HIV, cancer, and terminal illness counseling. It's important to remember that all these illnesses come with a component of stress. And that stress could potentially make the illness worse. So there is the physiological aspect of it, of course, but then there is also the stressful aspect of it. And a lot of the times um, when people are suffering from these kind of illnesses, we all know that stress affects the immune system, you see? So it could also excavate, you know, it could increase the effects of whatever medication they're taking to treat the illness. It could make the illness progress further and things like that. So what we do at All Smart Therapy Center is we sort of help people manage the stress that comes with these disorders, you know, so that now you don't have an immune deficiency problem and your body can help fight these illnesses better or even deal with the treatment and the negative symptoms that may you know show up because of some of these treatments like ARVs 
radioactive therapy, you know, sure. chemotherapy, and these things are heavy on the body, you know. Very true. Yeah, and they do also cause a certain level of stress because your body is going through something physiological, you know, it's not working at full capacity. So what we do is we can sort of help you come to terms with that so that you're still functioning at a better capacity even while you were ill. But maybe the other thing that we can also expound on is that uh, remember you're not an individual but also we have to have family cope better yeah. with what the individual is going through, process it also better. So that at the end of the day, it's one single unit and not one person only dealing with this because cancer has a way of affecting the family, the whole unit, the whole unit and um, also processing and coming to terms that at one point there's going to be a loss. And also taking care of this person when they don't feel like they want to go through treatment when they feel like it's okay, I have come from, let me just die. Helping them also accept the treatment is something that we also bring in the family so that they can journey with this individual and make the most out of what they have at the moment. Yeah, and still we deal with toxic spaces. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> when you talk about toxic spaces, it can be toxic work environment, yes. toxic families, mm -hmm. toxic, toxic schools. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> like toxic friends yes, and exactly. the relationships that we build. Very yeah, true. we walk the journey and we help you be in a position to identify. Sure. Are you in a place because you're being toxically abused or are you in a place because you feel you really need to be there? Because mm -hmm. in most cases, the victim, you know, feel like they really want to cling and to be in yeah. such a setup, yeah. just exactly, fix it, yeah, right? because the perpetrator has made it in such a way that they feel without them, mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. inadequate, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. for them to feel whole again and all that is still, and that's why we have cases like for families, someone will still talk about uh, what is not of the kids, you know, yeah. when it's not of these, yes. yeah. work environment. I mean, where else I'll have to do this, regardless of how abusive it is. And when you talk about abusive, please, not really about insults. Yeah, yes. it doesn't have to be physically or verbally abusive. It can, you know? it can be subtle. It can be very subtle. subtle. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So it's all about the spaces we are in. Is it a conducive space for you to be in? How conducive is it? Or are you in a toxic place? And also in some people can talk about toxic places. Even us, at time you have toxic households in their house. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, but you still feel you can never let go yes. because who you take care of your young yeah. ones and all that. Yeah. However, they're already commanding. And as a result, uh, we end up having or rather bringing up a generation that is all abused and all that. And so, exactly. yeah, we walk the journey with you. Definitely. Um, another aspect that we also look at is basically um, school and career management, you know, in terms of like, um, are you struggling with you know your school are you struggling with schoolwork what are what you know what are the reasons you might be struggling with schoolwork the other thing that also involves in this is psychoeducation we do group packages whereby we also go to you know schools and psychoeducate the pupils on things like sexual matters you know um, abuse mm -hmm. toxic spaces as you said as well so we do definitely hold these psychoeducation talks at different schools and corporates as well because sometimes what happens is you could also not be managing very well at work or your employees could be struggling at work or something like that and maybe you want to maximize you know their productivity but at the same time you know you care about their well-being as well because you also don't want to appear as a slave driver oh, yes. Yes, sure. so what we do is also we come in and we teach you know people in the workplace you know boundaries how to be healthy you know things like that how to balance their work and their home life and things like that so that you're not contributing too much to any aspect of your life as well the other thing that we also look at um is we do comprehensive packages whereby in case you know your clients need a therapy session now with us as well um we do offer you know group packages for companies that basically want to send their clients to us for therapy to maybe you know sort out whatever going on in their personal life or you know manage workplace issues and etc etc things like that oh yeah sure we do that and it also helps 
when it comes to productivity of the employer yeah. because in most cases an employer will be dealing with an employee who always comes to work very late yes. but how much do you need to get to know the reasons as to why somebody comes yes. late to work yes. so before you give them you know you put them on pips and all those disciplinary measures yes. do you take time to look after their well-being yeah, yeah. and how well they function as an individual outside your employment also dictates how well they will also give back to the, yeah, to the exactly. company, 100%, 100%. Yeah. So another exciting thing we look at is couples therapy. And at All Smiles Therapy, we seek to understand you and your partner from both perspectives. perspectives. And it, in, in a way, it also gives you insight to both of you to what could be the issue. Because you could walk in with something that you feel is the issue only to learn as you process through that that is not the issue it's something else and it's always an exciting journey as we say where we we're not judging you we want to understand you because at the end of the day we're also looking to um raise healthy and strong families in our society now we also look at um premarital counseling understanding your partner do you understand your personalities? Do you know how your personalities bounce off each other? Or do you complement each other? And if you bounce off each other, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that we are going to ask you to yes. fight ways, like but we're going to help you, you understand. Or to stay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And then it also comes down to family, you know. We also offer therapy for the whole family. If you have an issue that is affecting you as a family and you want to understand how you can function better and help each other better as a family, that is something that we too at All Smiles offer. Yeah. And as we said again, we all love coming from the point of understanding to make it better. Well, yeah, sure. Equally, we offer therapy to especially organizations that are going through retrenchment and you know nowadays unlike before before retrenchment used to be a thing of the past you know and people used to feel like i'm being you know they're getting rid of me because maybe i'm the most uh employee who is not all that productive or something mm -hmm. however it's not the case we've seen you know in the rise of covid and all that so when that happens and when you talk about retrenchment therapy it really doesn't affect only the employees who are going home. Mm -hmm. It's both ways. Yes. Because even those who remain, they will still be left wondering and also dealing with you know, the loss of the routine, the people they know, mm -hmm. the people they've been working with. Again, for people who go home, it's even worse for them. Yes. Yes. They've lost financial gain. Mm -hmm. They've lost their routine. Mm -hmm. They've lost so much. It's all about how to start again and you know with that we also enlighten them that i mean no one is dying it's just a retrenchment i mean you will just uh go back and you retrieve yourself again and you will get another job mm -hmm. but before then we also get to understand it's a loss this person will go through grief mm -hmm. because yes, it's lost sure. so exactly so professionally we work with them to ensure that even during the healing process because have encountered people where someone has lost a job they're being offered and they say you know what I'm still very bitter yeah and we always talk yeah. about hard people hard people yes that person if they dare go to that interview with all that bitterness yeah. definitely they will end up losing it mm -hmm. so what happens when you take them through therapy they are able mm -hmm. now to regain themselves back and even for the next job oh they will embrace it so much still not the same we do for retirees yeah so for retirees you know in most cases yes it is a big achievement however when you look at it this person is so used to school life all through then after school life into career, career life yeah now they've lost an entire you know it's like an entire um, part of themselves, part of themselves. Yeah. so again they require therapy so that even as they proceed for their retirement and all that they are well taken care of well, mentally yes. exactly yeah. and they know what to expect yes. exactly. yeah and, and don't forget we also have the fact that the group that is not ready for retirement. Oh yeah, sure. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a journey that you also have to walk with somebody, understand them, 
as we say, we take the loss, and maybe our best defense is not to deal with it. So that that is something that uh, at all smiles we also journey with the retirees, helping them understand. Yes, you're used to a safe space. You're going into the unknown, but the unknown can also be exciting, yes. depending on how you look at it. Could be an adventure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah sure. So much apart from just the career life, all through exactly. out there. Yeah. Um, and then we have the family, social, and work-life balance that. Yeah in a way affects our relationships around this mm. oh yeah you've got the dad who's always working mm. and has no connection with the children mm. and makes him feel guilty or, or the mom makes her feel guilty and that in a way plays into your relationship with your children mm. those around you at work and also your family at work, helping you to see how you can make the most of it that even if you've got this uh, high-speed moving career, that you still have time to be present when present, yeah. and which I think is very key. Then when we look at the social life, are you able to interact with your friends, yeah. with your workmates, with your family, in a way that actually helps you? And if you're this kind of person who was not very key on mellowing with people, mm -hmm. Maybe learn some new tricks here and there. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, we're all learning yeah. and we're all yeah. discovering who, yeah. who we are. Yeah. And the key thing is also learning how to balance your work life. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need work. Work does not only validate us, but it also provides for our daily sustain, yeah. sustenance and also our family. But learning how to balance that. Yes, I have time for work and I have time for family. Mm -hmm. and this is something that we all learn. And nobody is good at it. We're all learning, and in the process, you will mess up, which is okay because a journey has the ups and downs. Yeah. And that's the key part that self discovery is always about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So, Another aspect, also, I think that we sort of also cover is in today's um, day and age, we've got a lot of moms are working as mm -hmm. well dads are working sure. as well you know it takes almost three jobs for some people to sort of like you know get their family up and running and things mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. so how do you balance that and your kids and spending time with your social life and your friends mm -hmm. and you know because there are a lot of areas in life that require you know you to be present sure you know parenting is one of them sure. but your work is also mm -hmm. another one and then of course if you don't socialize and don't look after your social needs there's the aspect of emotional burnout because there's no self-care happening as well. Very true. You don't do things that make you happy. happy. You see? And exactly. then and then eventually you find yourself burning out, getting frustrated, getting angry at people and things like that. And all of that could simply be fixed by balancing your life out, you know? Yeah. That's what we require in, in our day to day. Yes. We should work please, you know, families and all that. You no, know, we have some people who are um work at home mothers mm -hmm. yes, yes. or you know they're just there and the work they do much is Even you know, single moms. to bring up these kids and all that yeah. and at time it may be so overwhelming you yeah. know and someone think ah oh, you just stay at home yes. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah you do not wake up early in the morning to go to work and all that and but they do not know that these people they actually because they feel it's their responsibility to ensure they do each and everything mm -hmm. that yeah. out yeah. so equally everyone requires a work-life balance definitely yeah definitely. So like what I hear more is the guilt, learning to deal with the guilt that I am not present for my children. Uh, I'm missing, like I am doing nothing, which we say. And you brought up a very important point, the single moms. And now we also have single fathers. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Well, yeah. So it's a life balance and learning how to go about it is that key thing. Because what kills us and what puts us down is the guilt that comes with it, that doesn't help us to be clear when we're looking at things and helps us use different coping mechanisms because we're trying to not deal with what is happening right in front of us. And that all smiles. That's a key thing. Helping oh. you 
understand yourself better. This is just some among many other things so that we do when you come for therapy. Definitely. Yeah, and eventually all these things build our resilience and mm-hmm. become so mm-hmm. assertive. And you know, by being assertive is say no. Yes. Yeah, when no yeah. deserves to be no, Said, yeah. without you know being unapologetic about yeah, sure. our no, you and know, not feeling and guilty and about saying yeah, well. exactly as well, and being able to stand on our own, yeah, yeah. yeah. and adjusting, adjusting to whatever is going on in yeah. our lives, adjusting to what's going on with us. You know, I feel like adjustment is very important because a lot of the yeah, times sure. our distress arises because we're not well adjusted. Very true. Mm-hmm. And we talk so much about post traumatic stress, but we also forget there's also post traumatic growth. Yes. Which oh, yeah. Which makes you into a better person, person. because you you built your resilience. resilience. Yes. 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 And when you set boundaries and not being apologetic about it, I think it says it speaks so much into your self care. Yes. Sure. As well. Which is yeah. what is key in this life and in this journey as you go through therapy. And that's why we're here. Oh, yeah. So this and much more is all that goes on at All Smiles Therapy Center. And you're most welcome. Mm-hmm. Come engage with us. And we are a group of so many therapists. I mean, not just the three of us that you're familiar with. So come engage and we're going to walk the journey with you. Yeah, and looking forward to seeing you. Definitely come by and say hi to us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Looking forward. Okay, bye-bye.